She put the baby in the crib and left, but when she returned, she couldn't stop screaming. All he needed was a simple treatment to take care of his jaundice. But when the nurse looked away for a split second, the unthinkable happened. His hell was only just beginning. When little Maddie came into the world on 16th of November 2014, no one knew that his life would soon take a terrible turn. He appeared to be healthy, a joyful little boy, but after a few of days, the doctors had noticed that he was suffering from something that was quite common, jaundice. For most babies, this goes away by itself within just a few of weeks, but some children would need treatment, and Maddie was one of those. Doctors had immediately prescribed light therapy, also known as phototherapy, for the little boy, which meant that Maddie would have to lie under a rather special lamp for a few hours every day. This type of treatment is said to be completely harmless and does this not cause any side effects. The light rays would reduce the levels of bilirubin in his system and effectively cure his jaundice. However, it is incredibly important that there is always someone supervising the baby during the treatment. Unfortunately, this would become very evident in the case of Maddie. Maddie stayed in the hospital for a couple of days while he received the treatment, and his mother had decided to leave him in the care of the medical staff. Maddie would only have to be in the cot for short periods of time and always had to be supervised. One day, when the boy was busy being treated under the lamp, tragedy struck. It was not the light therapy itself that went wrong, but the treatment lamps instead. When the nurse who was watching Maddie left the room, the light bulb burst and caught fire. The panicking nurse quickly rushed back into the room and tried to make up for her mistake. She threw a damp nappy over the lamp to extinguish the fire, but the lamp burst again and all the burning pieces from the nappy fell over Maddie. Unfortunately, the result of this hospital's mistake was absolutely disastrous. Maddie, who was only three days old, had suffered burns to almost 75% of his body and all his tiny organs were severely damaged. Even a small infection now could mean the end for him. The pain Maddie must have suffered is unimaginable. All his little fingers and toes were partly burned, and his face was completely unrecognizable. But that was just the very beginning of Maddie's hell, as it seems that fate was not done with him. When his 19-year-old mother had discovered what had happened, and she made an unimaginable decision. Instead of going into mama bear mode as any other mother would, she decided that she wouldn't be able to cope with this. Maddie's mother no longer wanted him when she realized that the boy would require specialist care. She realized that several expensive treatments lay ahead and that Maddie would never fully recover from any of his injuries. When she had understood the extent of the responsibility this would mean to take care of the burnt boy, she quickly abandoned him. The terrible story soon hit media houses. Several newspapers in Russia began to write about Maddie's fate, and before long, the entire country had heard the boy's story. One director at the hospital had been sentenced to three and a half months in prison. At the same time, hospitals, volunteers and human rights activists, along with other families, offered their help. Maddie was then adopted by a kind woman named Svetlana. Unfortunately, the adoption was completed after an extremely trying legal process that took nearly two months. In fact, several women had fought to adopt Maddie, some only because of the media attention. Maddie's biological mom even showed up and tried to claim her son now that he had become famous all over the country. But since she had already relinquished her parental rights to him, it was not that simple and it would seem that the court did not get the sense that she even regretted her decision to give him up. But the court weighed that Svetlana was undoubtedly the best option. As opposed to all the other candidates, she had tried her utmost to avoid the spotlight during the entire legal process. When all the papers were finally in order and the court had announced its verdict, Svetlana began blogging about her and Maddie's life. She was well aware that thousands of people had followed Maddie's story, and many wanted to know just how things were going for him. Since the adoption, 
Maddie has undergone several surgeries. Thankfully he's recovering all according to plan, and the little fighter has since made fantastic progress. However, Maddie still has a very long journey ahead of him. The doctors have still not managed to recover his nose, so Maddie wears a prosthesis. He will still need many more surgeries in the future, but despite all the possible challenges he faces, he loves smiling and playing, just like all the other kids his age. At the young age of six, Maddie has already experienced more pain than most people would suffer in a lifetime. But his courage, strength and fighting spirit are definitely inspirational. Hopefully, Maddie can look forward to a life full of love and happiness with his loving adoptive family.